All right, I'm gonna just go through the VBA operators that we use to construct code, um, how we multiply and divide and do different functions in VBA. It's a lot like you do in Excel, so if you're quite familiar with Excel, it's almost the same. There are a few uh, differences. Shown here on this slide, we have the order of operations. Exponentiation comes first. That's in contrast to Excel. Excel actually is unique in that it does negation first. So if you did negative three caret two in Excel, it would give you nine, which is a little bit counterintuitive, but it <clears throat> negates first. Whereas in VBA, it does the exponentiation first and then does the, the negation. So in VBA, negative three caret two would be negative nine. Multiplication and division are the asterisk and the forward slash. You can do integer division using backslash. There's a really popular function called mod. So that's the remainder. For example, if we did five mod three, that would give us two. Addition and subtraction, plus and minus. Um, if you're joining two strings or a string with a number, you can use the ampersand, which is this symbol. And that's joining two strings or joining a string and a number. It's used a lot in message boxes and input boxes. Relational operators, we have greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than, equal to, equal, and this is not equal to, so this is the equivalent of the not equal. We'll do some logical examples here in this course. We also have the not, so not true is false, not false is true, and meaning it'll give you a true if A, like if A and B are both true, so whatever comes before it and after it has to be both be true, or means one or the other or both have to be true in order for the combination to be true. And then something XOR something means exclusively or, meaning you have to have a, a true and false or a false and true, but you can't have both trues. It has to be one has to be true, one has to be false. VBA's got a lot of built-in functions. Some of the most common ones are shown down here. There's a lot of these common functions. We have the absolute value, the square root, exponential, very importantly, the log function in VBA is the natural log. Um, some other, the message box function and input box function are, are really important. I've, let's go through a couple examples of how you would put this into VBA syntax. If we had y plus 2 quantity times x minus 2 over this denominator, the way you do that in VBA would be you would be you would write it like this. And the way that VBA interprets it is it always does functions first. So it calculates the square root, returns an answer to that position. It then starts with parentheses, order of operations. So it computes the y plus two result. Then it computes the x minus two result. It then multiplies those two to get a numerator result. Um, and then it starts with the left on the denominator, calculates the uh, x squared result, and it computes the x times y result, and adds up all three in the denominator, and then it divides the numerator result by the denominator result to get the final answer. So that's sort of how VBA calculates these different things. It's a lot like your programming calculator, where it kind of works left to right. All right, let's go through a couple more examples. We have pi d squared over 4l. There is no built-in pi function. So a good way to denote pi in VBA is to do 4 times the arctangent of 1. So the tangent of pi over 4 is equal to 1. So you can use that property to, to define that as pi. So we can either write it like this. So this expression on the, ret, on the left would be written like that. Or um, if we don't use parentheses in the bottom, we can just do we can divide twice because of that left to right, um, the way that, that the VBA reads syntax is left to right. So we can do that. Um, this one, we would have T minus TL divided by quantity A times quantity TH minus TL. So you can denote, you can force the order of operations using parentheses. Um, <clears throat> if we didn't want to use these outer parentheses here, you can always do the same thing like that we did above, where you divide by A and then take that result and divide by TH minus TL in parentheses. So that's it for basic expressions in VBA. Thanks for watching.